Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. I'm going to talk to you today, give you some competition tips on the event B Super Rock Altitude. Now this is uh, an altitude event, so you want to go as high as possible. Um, it's going to be using a B motor, so my body tube here, my basic diameter is 18 millimeters to fit a B engine. I'm going to want to use a short dura, uh, delay engine, like a B62 or a B42. A B4 is actually a little bit better, but sometimes they're a little harder to find. Um, it's better because it uh, launches the rocket slower, so there's not as much stress on the rocket. Now this is a structural event, which means that the object is to keep your rocket intact while it's going up. Um, because the rocket is so long, um, it becomes kind of like a noodle and noodles are very hard to fly. Um, it's easier to pull the noodle than push a noodle. And we're gonna be pushing the noodle in this event. Um, what I'm doing now is uh, taking the shock cord, putting it together so you can kind of see how long this rocket is. Now the event calls for the rocket to be a minimum of 100 centimeters and a maximum of 200 centimeters or two meters. Uh, now you can be longer than that, but you don't get any extra points. And the points are the altitude of the rocket in meters um, plus the length of it in centimeters. And that gives you your total score. Or is it multiplied? It's, you know, you want a long rocket. Um, you can see I have my rocket in sections um, because it's such a long rocket that um, getting it to the launch field can be kind of difficult. So I made mine to break into different parts. And you want to minimize the weight because this is an altitude event. Weight is your enemy here. Um, so you go, you start with a big tube on the bottom for your motor and then progressively get smaller. And if you can find smaller tubes, go smaller because that's gonna minimize your weight. Um, I've gone from a BT8, uh, BT20, which is 18 millimeters, down to a BT5, which is 13 millimeters and it all plugs together like you can see. You're gonna to want to use just a very small parachute because you wanna keep that weight down. Doesn't matter what size the parachute is. These things aren't gonna come down very fast because they're so long and light. Uh, typically, they'll start gliding on you. Um, you can't kink your rocket going up. Once you hit Apogee and it deploys, you can kink. And you can, um, in, in the altitude event, you can also separate into multiple pieces. Um, you probably want to keep it together though, just um, make, make recovery a little bit easier. If it was a duration event, everything has to stay together, but in altitude it can come down in, in multiple parts. Um, so that is the basic um, strategy for this event. It's a, it's a pretty easy event, um, but what makes it difficult is the long tube. Now you, you also have to prepare for wind. On a windy day, you're probably going to want to take the top section off and fly it a little bit shorter because uh, the wind is really going to affect these things. So bring an extra nose cone with you to put on the shorter tube. Um, on this one here, I actually glued it on, so I would have to bring an extra nose cone along with me. So this is the event B Super Rock Altitude. Um, you can fly the same design using a, an altimeter or if they're tracking. Um, if it, you're using an altimeter, you're going to have to put some vent holes in the tube. Uh, but that's basically the only difference between the two. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the uh, Rocketry Competition Tips. And my website is www.apogeerockets.com.